Welcome to JSA TV, where we're covering the latest news, trends, and innovations from thought leaders from within the digital infrastructure space. And the gentleman to my right is in the JSA TV hot, hot seat, and um, uh, he is Stephen LaFail, VP of Business Development at TicoGen. Stephen, welcome to JSA TV. Great. Thanks for having me here. Happy to be here. Yeah, very good. Very good. Show going well for you? Yeah, it's great. A lot of lot of people here. A lot of great conversations. There, there are a lot of people here. A lot of great conversations. Have you attended any of the panels so far? I have. A lot of good discussions. Natural gas keeps coming up. It is. And we're going to talk about that right now. Absolutely. But really quickly, Stephen, for our viewers that don't already know, why don't you tell them a little bit about TicoGen? Yeah, so TicoGen is an on-site uh, provider of power solutions and cooling solutions using generally pipeline natural gas. Uh, we've been doing this for about 40 years and 40 years, a lot of industries that we consider mission critical, like hospitals, yeah. blue chip manufacturing, pretty much you, you name it. If there's a chiller there, we've done it. Um, so we're pretty excited to uh, enter this space and really help them out. I like I like uh, the uh, you, maybe your tag should be if there's a chiller there, we've done it. I like yeah. I like that very much. But um, you also announced a, uh, a pretty significant uh, collaboration or partnership with Vertiv recently. Yeah. Absolutely. Tell so, us a little bit about yeah, that. Yeah, we're, we're super excited about that. Obviously, Vertiv is a, a huge leader in the data center space, end-to-end yeah. -end solutions, whether it be electrical or thermal. So uh, I think they really see a, a value in bringing our product to the table. Mm -hmm. Obviously, a bunch of their customers are facing power constraints, right? Mm -hmm. And they're looking for creative solutions. Mm -hmm. And I think really what we're going to see is a, a combination of electric chillers that Vertiv would provide and natural gas chillers from TicoGen. And then we could really start to address that peak PUE problem, mm -hmm. right? Because there's, yeah. there's been this huge focus, rightfully so, on getting your annual average PUE down. Tremendous progress. But if you if you listen to some of the peak PUE numbers people have thrown out, yeah. they're, they're still pretty bad, right? <laughs> so even though you're only using mechanical cooling for a pretty short time of the year, yeah. you, you have to allocate that power for 100% of the year. Yeah. And you can't use it for IT. You can't lease it, right? So that's a huge revenue constraint that, that people have. That's an amazing uh, segue to the next question, sure. energy and sustainability. Um, Ticogen, where do you where do you guys land in uh, in that discussion? Yeah, I think so. We're, we're pretty new to this space, but I think what you're going to find is because of the power constraints you see, you're, you're going to see a lot more of us out there, right? You're going to, yeah. as, as the data center industry starts to embrace natural gas, because they have to, right? Yeah. Um, they're going to start looking for more creative ways to leverage it. And that's where I think where we're going to come in. You're going to see a lot more cooling solutions on natural gas. Yeah. Obviously, there's a lot of talk about power solutions, but I think there's a lot of different ways to leverage natural gas and do yeah. it more. Do, 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 Okay, we're we're speeding we're speeding right to my favorite question okay. of the entire interview. Natural gas is natural gas at odds with the sustainability goal. Yeah, very good question. So I think <laughs> I knew you'd uh, like it. <laughs> yeah. So we I think we all can agree natural gas is a bridge uh, energy source, right? But we've been on this bridge for thirty years, yeah. maybe forty years, right? And, and natural gas has been the backbone of pretty much virtually all data center growth for the last twenty years. Right. So the question is really, OK, when is the nuclear going to get here? Yeah. Right? Is that five years? Is that 10 years? I don't think anyone really knows. But what I do know is that the way data centers have been using natural gas to date hasn't been so efficient. Right. Right. They burn natural gas at a central power plant, 45 to 55 percent efficient, five to seven percent T&D losses. That's not a very efficient use of a finite resource. Right? <laughs> yeah. So there are ways to use natural gas on site, like with TicoGen's chillers where you can actually increase the efficiency. You can either at least match or beat the grid by using heat recovery. You can use heat recovery to create more cooling with an absorption chiller. There's a lot of better ways to use natural gas than what the data center is doing right now. I wanted to, I wanted to, I want to have another conversation with you about nothing more than heat recovery at some point. Awesome. Fantastic. Uh, uh, thank you so That'll much. For, interview number two. Yeah, no, uh, outstanding. Let's do this like in a year and, and talk awesome. more. Yeah. Stephen, thanks for being here. Yeah, we thanks appreciate for having it. me. Appreciate it. You bet. You bet. And thank you viewers for watching JSA TV. We'll see you very soon.